Yeah. I have a question because I always wanted to ask this question to somebody who was who was experienced enough of music to answer. We're gonna get back on our our crackhead sherm head talk. <laughs> crackhead sherm. <laughs> but I always wanted to ask, who is greater? Who's the greater Brown? Who's the greater dope head Brown? Bobby Brown or Chris Brown? The greater dope head Brown. Okay, take the dope head part out because that was just me being a little extra. But who's the greater musician, heartthrob, just classic artist? Well, if you R&B ask, if you asking me, you know, because like I say, I'm I'm a nigga from a certain age group. Bobby Brown, you know, I I was in middle school when that nigga dropped my prerogative, my nigga. I was I watched bitches. <laughs> I watch bitches come to school like sitting in class holding this nigga album like I was like man what the fuck is going on yeah. like I actually seen bitches come to school with this nigga album and bitch sitting up in class holding it you know what I'm saying like the younger generation might have done that with Chris Brown I don't know I don't think so I don't think so the reason I asked that question is cause I once told a nigga under 25 that Bobby Brown is greater than Chris Brown. He has a more cultural impact than Chris Brown. No, nah, Chris Brown got a, got a hell of a cultural impact. I can't take that away. I can't but take it. Like, back. when you say cultural impact, or then when you ask about influence, those are two different things. That's kind of Because influence, I'm going to go back to what influenced me. But cultural impact, I'm going to look at the culture. Like right, right, Chris right. Brown moved the he moved the needle. Like he moved the needle. And he moved the needle longer than Bobby Brown moved the needle. Bobby Brown moved the needle. Like he was with New Edition, but that was New Edition. But if we talking about Bobby Brown, he just moved the needle as musically with one album. Now with the shit that happened with Whitney with the dope theme shit, <laughs> that's some other shit. I think but if we talking sense. musically Chris Brown moved like on on solo. He moved the needle more than Bobby Brown moved. You think the so? Needle. Yeah, he, I, think, I think so. Bobby more so for just black people, but I feel Chris with black people and more like you know. But I'm just saying musically. I'm not even Good point. saying Good like point. white, black, none. But musically, like Chris Brown had a better run musically than Bobby Brown, Brown did. Bobby Brown had like. My prerogative, that album, that was like a, an, an atomic bomb, like boom. Exactly. But That's then Chris Brown, like year after year. I don't think Chris year. has one of those type of albums, though. No, nah, I, I wouldn't say he got a my prerogative. Not at all. But but his consistency, like, it beats Bobby Brown's consistency. Definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. It's different when you you smoking hard and when you're doing soft, man. <laughs> <laughs> But I would say, okay, how about this is my last question before I get off of that and get back to some other shit. But uh if you had to own you take if you had to take all of their catalog and you can only listen to one of their catalog. Who? Out of Bobby Brown and Chris Brown. Bobby Brown. Brown. You can, nigga, that ain't even a man. But if you're going to take question. one away, you can take one away, you can nigga, only Nigga, that listen. ain't even no question. Nigga, I'm going with my prerogative, my nigga. I got you. I got you. That's that's what's up. That yeah. album now was, nigga, what? I feel you. That's, that's why you started Chris platform. Dick on Whitney Houston because of that album. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> but then Chris Brown was putting dick on Rihanna, so it kind of average mm. out, though. I don't know mm. because of what. I don't, that's mm. not the knocking, but I don't know mm. what that's made good Rihanna point. give that nigga a shot of cock. That's but I point. know that album had Bobby Brown putting dick on Whitney. Now, mm. what had Chris Brown putting dick on Rihanna, you know. That's a really good fucking point. Yeah. So who, okay, so who had a badder bitch? Was Whitney badder than Rihanna or was Rihanna badder than Whitney? Because you remember, Rihanna got... Rihanna hold a record for the most number one hits. But it, yeah, yeah. But, 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 but Whitney is one of the greatest motherfucking singers of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so... So, so okay, so, okay. If, so, I, if I could, if I could have either one... And then this is biased because I'm it's age bias. Definitely, definitely. And it's like look bias because Rihanna was was finer. I'm gonna put dick on Rihanna before I put dick on Whitney. Because Rihanna was yeah. finer 
that, that what her bean head ass. I think Rihanna she, more sexually and Whitney more like. It ain't even the, about the music. It's just that Rihanna had a better body. Facts. Yeah. In a bigger, a in a bigger forehead. She wasn't necessarily <laughs> cuter than Whitney. She just had she just had a like her sex appeal. Yeah, and at one point though, Whitney was like the pinnacle of like black female. Yeah, people. and but Whitney never sold sex appeal. And that, I know. think that's what puts her at a higher level. That's what puts her at a high level to me. But Whitney's sell- voice is second to none. You know, yeah. you got you you only got a handful of motherfuckers. Like everybody bad at Trick Daddy right now because of what he said about Beyonce. And he-